guys what is up welcome back to my channel uh, today you guys I'm gonna just be going over you know uh, where my head set is my headset <laughs> my mindset is right now with competing and um, you know uh, just um, not having implants for competing what my workout looks like today I am working out from home today and what my meal prep looks like and just an update you guys just to reconnect with you guys, tell you where I'm at. Um, so I also, you guys, don't forget to give me a subscribe. Subscribe, whether it's up or down, I'm not sure. Up or down. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And don't forget to hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload new videos. I love you guys all. Leave your comments in the comment box. Everything's in the show notes. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, I'm Hannah Dawson, also known as Fitness Ministry, where I inspire women to love the skin they're in through faith, fitness, and food. And I do this by teaching you how to train with a purpose, eat with a purpose, and how to have faith through the process. Um, I tried using my camera, because I've got this camera I've had for a while, vlogging camera, it's a Sony. And it's uh, apparently I don't have enough memory on my card, so I got through a vlog and it died. So now I'm re-saying everything. So um, I'm gonna be taking you guys through a workout. I'm also going to be sharing what is in this detox smoothie at the end of this video. All right. So if you want to know, stay tuned. I may even have the recipe for you, a printable. All right, you guys. So. Um, where am I at? What have it, what has been going on lately? Um, you guys, there's been a lot. <laughs> I'm trying to grow my online business. If you know kind of who I am and what I'm about, um, that's I've really moved my business from being in person to all online. So that's been really new. Um, we also, um, you know, just been dealing with health issues the last while. Um, and then this is my first year, you know, starting to feel better because I had my implants removed June 2018, June 1st. And so um, competing. The last time I competed, I had my implants in. And um, if you know the fitness industry and the competing world, lots of women have their boobs done. And so I think when I did it the first time, you know, um, my mindset was for sure different. Uh, but I'm not going to lie when I, you know, those, those implants gave me a little bit of confidence because you're like, yeah, I got, I got implants. The rest of them do. You kind of feel, um, like you're on an evil, uh, uh, a evil, a level. My gosh, my words are all mixed up. You kind of feel like you're on an even, even gr playing field for as far as like being compared to the next girl or going up against some of them, right? This year I have a flat chest. I know there's lots of women that compete with flat chests, but it's bikini. And so that's been weighing on my mind a lot, um, just insecurities and things like that, that I've been having to battle. And so I've been finding that uh, a part of my mind will be full on training mode. And then all of a sudden I can just like that, it just switches. And I'm like, holy, I can spiral really fast with starting to tear myself apart. Um, and normally I wouldn't do it, but when you're going to compete, that's what I mean. The mindset is so key, you guys, to uh, really keep in check why you're doing what you're doing um, and really um, feel confident in your skin and who you are. And that it is not about it's just aesthetics, it is about bringing something out of you, discipline and uh, goals and a really driven mindset. And that's what I'm trying to stay focused on. But for a minute, I got carried away with, you know, feeling a little bit sorry for myself. So I, I, I just wanted to be honest with you guys where I'm at in that area, uh, just in case there's someone, you know, that maybe used to compete all the time and you've had your implants removed and now you're not sure um, don't let that stop you compete anyways it shouldn't just be about you know um, I mean it is about aesthetics let's just let's just put it at that but if you love fitness it truly is about bringing your best to stage and that's it 
And so um, that's kind of where my mindset has been with that, you guys, as well as I had to let go of my coach. So now, so this is everything that's going on, you guys. So I had the same coach for the one I won bikini the first time, and then we decided to have him again. And it just was like this huge money grab. I just wasn't feeling prepared to do a, a competition in March. Just, I knew my body. I really wanted to put on muscle so that when I cut, I will have some sort of shape. Uh, because if you don't have that muscle there and you go to cut, or if you're in such a deficit, you have nothing to cut to. So I knew that I needed to bulk. I knew I needed to increase my calories and I needed to lift. Um, and I needed time to do that. It, it takes time to put muscle on. And I'm nowhere uh, where I want to be yet. Um, and it takes years, you guys. So just for you women that are worried about bulking, you you won't. <laughs> it takes years and years and years of compounding and compounding that muscle, muscle, muscle. And unless you're doing steroids, it's nearly impossible. So, um, so I had to let go of my coach. I wasn't feeling like I was being directed and guided uh, the way that I think that I should have been. I am an all natural athlete. And so I think there's certain things um, to follow for being an all natural athlete. Um, it's not as easy um, as it is when you're on steroids and stuff. Um, I think uh, there's just there just were certain things like um, if you've guys watched my competing vlog that I'm starting to do, um, how I was saying you know it needs to align with your values and your beliefs and things like that. It's really important that your coaches align with that. My coaches didn't really. And, um, and then it was just another money grab and it was like, I wasn't ready to compete. We had already paid him. Um, and so I just said, I want to do June. And then that was that, like, we kind of didn't do any updates, just a couple emails or he'd asked me how I was doing. And then all of a sudden when it was time to diet, it was like another $1,800. And I'm like, you know what? I kind of been doing my own thing. I kind of been figuring things out on my own and adding food in, uh, I just didn't see value in it and um, you know I kind of learned what was working for my body as a woman with hormones and with also recovering from breast implant illness being really careful with my body and really trying to love my body through it I didn't want to do anything drastic and I also wanted to put myself through it naturally n not just because I believe that you should be natural in it but also so that I can show you guys that you don't need to have implants that yes, you can do it naturally and this is how. And so as I'm going through this journey, you guys, of competing and uh, going on stage again, um, I'm doing it but I'm also building uh, a blueprint um, so that when I'm done, um, I will have something for you guys um, if this is something you ever wanted to do or if you ever just wanted to see what it took to get your body to stage level. Um, and just for, just to see what it looks like. You don't always have to go on stage, but just the work, what, what the system is, what the steps are, how the eating is and how the training is. So I've been, I've been documenting everything you guys as I've been going and I've been doing this so that I can help you, um, if this is something that you decide to do. So that is, you guys were, what's been going on, uh, lately as far as competing, my eating, some of the fears, some of the, um, things that kind of have been attacking my body. I have to be really careful about social media and staring at other competitors and just really focusing on myself because I love training. I love working out and I love seeing what my body can do, but it just takes a second to compare yourself and it undoes every, all the hard work you've done and it can be a really fast downhill, downhill spiral. So, um, a tip, a fun fact, I don't know what you call it, some wisdom. Keep your eyes focused on yourself when you're doing something like this. Um, I heard this like analogy of, I think I heard it from Amy Porterfield actually, and she was talking about Seabiscuit, this movie Seabiscuit, and how the Seabiscuit, when he raced, they put these like blinders on horses when they race so that they're not distracted, so that they can stay focused on the race. And so I think the same is when we are. Um, you know, going after a goal, you almost have to put those blinders on so that you can't see what other people are doing around you so that you can stay focused. So I took that piece of wisdom and that's really helped um, me as far as that. And then home life, you guys building my online business, 
that's new to me and that's exciting and I love helping people helping women especially feel confident in in, in their God-given bodies um, I believe their women have so much potential and so much power and so much influence and we can get so distracted on the unimportant that it takes away from the significant that is inside of us and we can get so down on these little things and miss the big picture and miss the the gift in the moment and the gift in the present because you have so much to offer you have so much value you have there is so much you did not make it through what you've made it through all of the stuff in your life just to be just to just to arrive you did not there's so much value to everything you've been through and we are we go through it and we're kept alive through it we're still alive you know some people pass away early some people die but you didn't and I didn't and that is telling us that whatever we went through is meant to help somebody so that's my purpose of my whole YouTube channel you guys is is to everything that I've been through is to share it openly as openly as I can and uh, be as transparent as I can to be vulnerable with you in hopes that I can inspire you to love everything about you the the brokenness the wholeness uh, the everything in between to know that whatever you want to accomplish you can accomplish but it all starts with loving yourself truly from the inside out and um, fitness helps and nutrition helps because it all affects our mood and our hormones but that's not everything right that's not everything there still needs to be healing there still needs to be that um, that internal love not vanity but a love that fully accepts us um, yourself for everything that you are and being okay with who you are and and then things start happening um, and then when you start getting healing it shines and people are attracted to that and then you can help people and that's what life's about so anyways I went on for too long I hope that helps somebody um, I want to take you guys through my workout today um, I want to show you a little bit of my meal prep today uh, some things that are happening today my mom gets in today I'm so excited it's uh, Easter break here um, so I'm really excited to have her come help me with the girls because um, I work I work at Orange Theory three days a week I teach classes there um, and so I need her to help me and I want to clean my house I want to I want to clean uh, everything I want to organize um, yeah and so there's that we've been dealing with a family member that has addictions issues and that's been it's a really close family member and that has been hard like super super hard and stressful and trying to do all this stuff in the mix and just you know when you're dealing with that I've just been feeling super uninspired or creativity block when it comes to creating and doing what I love for you guys I've just been like like trying to fight that that darkness that that the feeling down um but now you know um the situation is kind of um what do you call it it's not fixed because the person's really in denial about their issues, their their addiction. So that's hard, but they're not in our life at the moment. We had to remove ourselves. It's gotten so bad that we've we've had to kind of um, let them hit their rock bottom. Uh, me and my husband, we've dealt with addiction ourselves in the past. I am coming on nine years, you guys, clean and sober. That's really exciting. So if um, I, I will share kind of my story with you guys one time. Um, I, I don't know if I'm fully ready. There is some of my old, old vlogs that kind of share a little bit of my story. Um, but I'm not at the place I am now. Like I'm not, I wasn't at the place of full healing then as I am now. So I have a lot more, um, to share now, but I'm just not ready yet. But I wanted to let you know if it's something that you struggle with addiction or you have a family member that struggles with addiction, I just want you to know don't give up hope. Um, um, keep believing and keep speaking over them as you wish to see them. I think a lot of times we can complain about them and we can 
talk to everybody about them and just complain about the situation instead of first just bringing it to God and, and you know, um, letting him know where you are, praying for that person, but also not speaking as the person is already, but as you as you see them, as as they are in heaven. Um, I don't know if you guys know that prayer. It's like, my Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And so just speaking into that person's life as it is in heaven already. They're already that person. We need to call it into our universe, into this day, because your words have power, you guys, over yourself and over other people. And a lot of the time, you know, we don't even realize we're cursing other people's lives in our own in our own health, in our own life by our negative talk. So just being really aware of things like that. I'm totally, this vlog is like an everything vlog, you guys. I'm totally opening up my heart to you right now. And um, I don't even know, I don't even know what I'm going to title this vlog, to be honest. It's like an everything vlog. I'm just catching up, having coffee. If you're drinking coffee, well, I'm having a smoothie so we can have our little smoothie chat. So I have a leg day workout I want to show you guys. Um, and I think that is everything, you guys. Uh, that I wanted to share with you on this vlog, just kind of where I'm at. This is me mentally. Right now, I'm going and training for this competition, and I don't know if I'm fully feeling ready for it. I'm battling that that other that other side of me. It's almost like there's those two halves, that old half of me that keeps trying to come in and 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 um, terrorize me from from being something better. And um, I don't know if you know what I mean, like anytime you go to go after a dream or or be, do something that's better for you that's more it seems like the more stuff starts to come against you and so fighting against that and knowing to not give up no matter what that's where I am now learning to love how God created me so that I can show you guys and I can lead by example and inspire you to love everything that you are um, and go after everything that you want and want to achieve and um, change the world. That's what it's about. It's about making this world a better place. One person at a time, one story at a time, one smoothie at a time. <laughs> all right, you guys, enjoy the workout. I love you all. And again, stay tuned to the end. I will have this detox smoothie recipe for you as well as Everything will be in the show notes. All right, guys. Bye.
All right, you guys, I promised I would show you what's in the smoothie. It's behind me. All right, I've also got a recipe for you. It's a downloadable PDF. You just have to go to the show notes below and download it. Leave a comment, let me know what you guys think. Drink this every day and see your whole gut health change, I promise. All right, so I use my Vitamix and these are all the ingredients. I've got frozen kale. I don't always put co frozen coconut. I got this from Superstore. Great little coconut chunks. I do love coconut. Um, depending if I put that in or not will depend how much avocado I put in. Usually I'll put half avocado in. Uh, if I use coconut, I'll use um, a quarter of an avocado and then a quarter cup of coconut. Um, I use protein powder beyond yourself, uh, vanilla ice cream. I use a scoop of veggie greens. This one's pineapple coconut flavor. I use glutamine, good for gut health, good for sore muscles, good for brain, uh, con, con, I'm not even gonna pronounce that word, good for brain health. Um, and then some of the spices I put in, I put in cinnamon, I put in uh, turmeric, turmeric, uh, pumpkin spice. Normally I would put pumpkin spice in, I just don't have ginger. Uh, normally I grade tons of ginger in you guys. Um, a lemon juice and then I blend it all in the blender and it is amazing you guys I drink this okay, every day. so um, I finished my workout uh, now I'm just finishing meal prep so I'll show you guys um, what I'm doing like I said if you guys have watched my last vlogs I am kind of doing a candida cleanse um, that being said I'm not doing it perfectly I've tried you guys I couldn't cut out protein shakes um, so the lady just told me just to do the best that I could, just staying away from breads and, um, like refined, refined sugars and, and things like that, dairy and stuff like that. Mind you, I'm having protein powder isolated as skim milk. It hasn't seemed to bug me, but I'm staying as clean as I can. So I'll just show you guys how I want my meal. I'm stir frying a whole bunch of veggies here. I have chicken. Um, and that's pretty much it. I put garlic, ginger, I've got everything in here, like broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, mushrooms, zucchini, and then I portion it out into a container. So Instapot chicken is cooked. Um, yeah, I just put a bit of salt and pepper in it. And so all I do, you guys, is I'm going to put this on my scale. Don't mind my messy counter. Then I'm going to make it go to zero. I'm gonna do ounces. So I'm gonna do Adam's first. He has eight ounces of meat. So I put a scoop. That's three. This is the easiest way to meal prep. Seven. I'm gonna surprise me. Eight. A little too much. All right, and then I do all the chicken first, and then I put all the veggies in. You guys, for me, I have about three and a half to four and a half ounces. I have to put a little bit more in, um, so that's my uh, serving size for my portion. There you guys have it. Hers versus his. He's got way more protein. That's super simple, you guys. I worked out while it cooked, and that is all, you guys. And then I'll add fat to that when I eat it. So avocados, oils, coconut oil, olive oil, things like so that. So you guys, that literally is my um, meal prep for me and Adam. And then I always have a fat with it as well. So we'll have chicken, um, that I portion it out in the containers. And then usually like I'll put some oil on top of it or avocado with it. Um, and that's kind of what we've been eating right now. I can see my messy kitchen in the background. Don't judge. Don't judge me. It's Sunday. Uh, so I have to quickly get this done. I have to get the newsletter out to you guys because I got some fun announcements coming up in that. So if you haven't subscribed to my newsletter, you guys, the link will be down below. I always do tons of freebies, tons of recipes, things like that. The last little while I've been lacking at sending my weekly emails due to, um, dealing with that family member with the issues it's just been now i have some more time so i can do that but subscribe i have to go pick up my mom today because she came into um into edmonton to spend the week with me so i have to hurry and do this get the newsletter done and then head out to pick her up all right you guys hope you enjoyed this see you soon